this is Rob Day with That's My Entertainment here at San Diego Comic-Con, and we are interviewing the illustrious <laughs> Kevin Conroy, the voice of um, actually... Batman the animated series. We have the we have the deluxe anim, uh, deluxe version coming out yeah. soon. Blu-ray October 16th. It's coming out along the whole series, along with the films uh, Mask of the Phantasm and Sub Zero, and a sweetener uh, reel of interviews. That that is incredible. Uh, so I have a qu I have a question for you. Um, you are now considered pretty much the authority of the Batman voice. I mean, you, everybody goes to you when uh, you know a new actor portrays wow. Batman. Wow. <laughs> That's a kind of heavy mantle to wear. I, I know, but you do wear it well. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I feel so I feel so lucky to have stumbled into this job 27 years ago. Well, you know, when you get a job, you just you get the job. You book the job. And you know they're going to do nine episodes, and then they might order ten more, and then they might order fifteen more. You never know what it's going to lead to until 27 years later you look back and you think, wow, I've created this legacy of work that I'm so proud of. Uh, but you don't know as it's going on that that's what, what it's leading to. You're just working one day at a time, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, how, how many episodes in, do you, because I remember you telling the story when you first came in, you had, uh, uh, the only idea you had of Batman was the Adam West show, of yeah. course. Um, when did you feel you knew the character? Bruce Wayne, uh, Bruce Tim really brought me up to speed on the backstory pretty quickly. And I I just, you know, it was, it was really a, a chance meeting of an actor and a role. Um, I just used my imagination to create this character because I realized what they were doing was really creating an, this sort of epic hero um, that's been told throughout history, Orestes, Achilles, there have been so many classic heroes like that. And Batman's kind of our, our culture's version of that. So I just put myself into that head of that tragic, dark place. And my, this voice started coming out and it was just the right sound. And I always approached it, because uh, I was a theater actor in New York. Right. I, I, I never approached it as a cartoon character. I always approached it as, as, a, as a tragic hero, the way I would play a, a stage role. And um, that brings a certain respect to it. And I think Bruce and Andrea and the producers really, really, really liked that and appreciated that. Thank you. For, uh, well, thank you very much. We said... Let's. I got one more question. Okay, um, this has to do with if you could retell us the story of of what happened at nine eleven, where <laughs> your voice. I, I love that story. I thought we should share this. Is it? Uh, is this a uh, where uh, you were volunteering? Do I clean up the language? <laughs> yeah, I, the let's language? let's use the let's clean up the language do, do the, for PG. Okay. Yeah, for PG. Because I live in New York, and uh, after the attack on 9/11, you know, everyone was wanted to volunteer. They had so many volunteers that they didn't need any more tunnelers or diggers. They had so many people running downtown to help. Mm -hmm. But they said, I called. They gave me this 800 number to call, and I called. And I, I got a, uh, someone who said, well, we really need a restaurant workers to feed everybody. Do you have any restaurant experience? I said, I'm an actor. <laughs> of course I have restaurant experience. <laughs> I said, you need waiters or cooks? He said, you cook? I said, yeah, I used to work in a restaurant in a kitchen. They said, are you available? I said, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm available now. They said, no, we mean now, tonight. Can you come down now? We need cooks. So I went down and I worked in the uh, ground zero at the kitchen. They had, a, they had taken over a restaurant. So I did the night shift from 6 p.m. to the dinner shift through the more setting up for the morning, 6 a.m. In the, in the morning, for a couple of weeks. And it was right after the attack, so there was a really dark, um, sad feeling to downtown. It was a very mm -hmm. somber feeling. And in the middle of this all, one of the other cooks said to me, so my day job is I'm, I'm, a, I'm an architect. What's your day job? And I saw I'm an actor. He said, well, do you do some specific kind of acting? I said, well, I'm a, I'm a voice actor. He said, I knew it. I knew it. You're the guy who does Batman. You're Batman. And I said, how do you know that? He said, everybody knows who's Batman. He said, oh, can I tell the guys in the dining room that Batman's here? I said, no one's going to care. He said, are you crazy? So he goes out in this big dining room and he goes, guys, guys, you're not going to believe who's been cooking your dinners. It's Batman. And there's this long silence. And then you hear, Bullshit! And he says, make him prove it! So I'm back in the kitchen and I said, I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman! And there's this long pause and you hear, 
holy crap, <laughs> that is Batman. And then they all come running back in the kitchen, and there was laughter for the first time in a week. Wow. We heard this laughter downtown, and it, it made me feel so good to have to have entertained them, you know, for <laughs> even just a few seconds. But Batman hit ground zero. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I wanted to thank you so much. Thank you for sharing those stories. You've been an inspiration to me, and I'm always going to, anytime there's another Batman and you're voicing, I'm getting that. So, so, again, thank you. Rob Day with Kevin Conroy on That's My Entertainment.